Hi, this is Shiri with a review of a seemingly ordinary Air Force One, but this is something unique. Uh, it's the Air Force One of One, as in it's the only one, one out of the only one out there because it's DIY, it's customizable. Uh, it's called the Cosmic Clay Custom DIY. I thought it could be called the cos Cosmic uh, uh, Canvas, but clay, you can shape it, mold it the way you want because every part, excluding the lace loops and the midsole, is a detachable Velcro Air Force one of one. Uh, so if you strip everything, it will just be a black uh, suede shoe. Uh, even the swoosh can be removed. So if you just remove it, it'll look like a cool black swoosh. And it comes with uh, customizable, uh, adjustable, replaceable bits uh, for the swoosh and the, the tongue, tongue swoosh and the Air Force One logo, as well as the uh, the heel tab, Nike Air, and the lace loops. But of course, it doesn't have the entire skin that's replaceable into an orange color, but hey, that's accentuating enough. Um, it actually is uh, it's pretty incredible. Uh, uh, there, there were some all-star Nike shoes where they featured some little patches that uh, that uh that had some distinguishing features of certain players like for instance anthony davis would have the the brow logo that can be uh, attached to a velcro bit on his shoe for the all-star game uh, they had that for a select few players who were sponsored by nike uh, and the air jordan 3 tinker edition had a swoosh that was replaceable they had four or five different kind of swooshes but it was just a swoosh nothing else uh so if you see other swooshes that you might want to put here, you can actually do that by stripping every part and then just leaving the whole black area empty for whatever patch you want to put here. Whether it's your, uh, if you're in the military, your unit patch could be placed here. Or if you find some other uh, Velcro, uh, Velcro featured patches or accessory that you might like, you can just decorate the shoe with that. So this is really something crazy uh, i i love that nike did this and i deeply appreciate this little innovation it's not crazy expensive it sells for like slightly over 150 bucks uh and i definitely think it's worth it um you can replace them with the these orangey parts but only the swoosh and the forward swoosh and the heel tab and yeah the laces still better than nothing better than just removing to reveal black uh, it weighs about 30 grams lighter than your typical Air Force Ones for some strange reason. Uh, because the entire upper is not leather, it's sort of like this uh, this Velcro material with uh, some... Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's clothing Velcro, so it's a little bit more soft. Uh, it fits a little bit tighter and the toe box is a little bit lower. So if you felt that the typical Air Force One felt a bit loosey-goosey here on the forefoot area this would be a godsend for you for me i i really appreciate the fact that it has a a tighter fit without being too uh narrow in the forefoot area um everything else is identical except except this one bit one bit that i unfortunately find to be uh a big letdown or a big factor in terms of should it should it be a keeper or should it uh be something that i should not collect further the fit is a little unique because these little stitching areas, you don't feel it in typical Air Force Ones because the insoles usually rest on top of the stitches. So you don't feel these, uh, these little bulging, little bulks of yarn poking you. So your insoles are comfortably above that. Uh, as for other forces that which had uh, replaceable midsoles, where the, the, the cup outsoles were basically empty. And if you just put your foot inside after removing the removable insole, midsole, you will actually feel the stitches around your foot and you will shred up your socks. Uh, it's not as bad as that, but unfortunately, the midsole lens sits a little bit around this area. So the insole uh, is right there. So once, you're, once your foot is settled there, you will feel some of the bits and stitches poking into your foot. So for... For a casual uh, cradle rocking back and forth movement, you're you're okay. But prolonged period, maybe you might get some uh, some chafing there. But if you were to wear this for some side to side movements, that would be very ill advised. So that is very one very unfortunate feature. I guess if you could put a really really thick insole there, then 
go up a half a size and put a really thick insole, maybe you could wear this. Uh, but I personally feel that that kind of ruins the fit. So it's a little unfortunate. But other than that, uh, this entirely whole upper material that can be used as a canvas uh, for any kind of patch you want to put there or any color coordination that you want to experiment with. Certainly uh, another amazing work done by Nike. Got to give them props for that.